Hello everyone. I wanted to actually do this video from uh, for a long time. Um, last time we talked about uh, dynamic links and deep linking. This was a month ago. Uh, but since then, uh, there was actually I was introduced to a new technique. If you actually watch uh, my channel uh, uh, last month, uh, I was talking that uh, you can actually manually construct your dynamic link. Uh, using uh, Flutterflow without any custom code or without anything else. I will just show you now how you can do this. Before we begin, uh, so what, what is the advantages of manually constructing your dynamic link uh, instead of using the built-in uh, dynamic link uh, from uh, Flutterflow? Uh, the advantages is that you can use a lot of parameters. So you can see over here, you can use uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you can use like 16 parameters and you can use more for an analytics. Uh, anal analytics sorry. Um, so you can see that you have a lot of, um, a lot of power when you're constructing your uh, dynamic link yourself and I think uh, if you don't need it uh, then it's totally okay you can just use the basic one uh, which is I can show you right now so I have two buttons right here so I have the normal one the normal share button and a custom share button so if we click on the normal share button and I open the action uh, flow uh, this is how uh, this is how you actually uh, generate right now a share a share uh, link. So before before actually we I, I show you how to do this. First of all, of course you need to enable from the settings app details. You need to enable deep linking and also uh, Firebase dynamic links. And you need to see something like that. So you need to see HTTPS and then the project and then that page that link so this is important you need to set up if you don't know how to set up there are two videos follow those two videos and you will uh, be good to go then if you go to share and if you want for example to share this current page uh, you can see the route of the page from here so the route of the page is links and then uh, if I go over here to share and if I click this button you can actually see, see uh, dynamic links, uh, uh, sorry, generating current page link. And then what you can specify, specify is the title right now, the preview image and the description. And you can also uh, generate short link, which is something new. I think the last time I was talking about this was not uh, possible. And then to actually share the link, uh, you can, you have this action called share and uh, from you can choose from variable and when you choose from variable you can choose this from it's not an action output this is a little bit uh, misleading or confusing it's not an action output it's from uh, library state and the state of it actually you're getting it from the state of the button which is current page link and this is how you actually do it right now out of the box but what you need what if you need uh, more complex, th complex uh, things. So say for example, uh, in my example, uh, you can, you want to have like uh, OF, uh, OFL, which is other platform parameters. So I think this is the most important thing. And this is uh, the link to open on platform besides Android and iOS. Uh, this is useful to, speci uh, to specify a different behavior on desktop, like displaying a full web page uh, of the app uh, contains payload. Okay. So basically, what is uh, what is the, this idea is that when uh, when you when the link when the dynamic link it's not open from Android or from iOS, you can with this parameter over here you can specify. Uh, how uh, where you want to actually go so in in ILD, in the ideal case you specify that this link should go to your own website and you can also specify to the current page that uh, you want this link to go so uh, this is 
uh, I will show you uh, a working uh, a working dynamic link, and I'll uh, I will show you how you can structure it. So first, first thing first, you need the uh, dynamic link uh, itself, the the base of the dynamic link, and the base of the dynamic link is this part over here. And if you go uh, again, if you go to settings, and this is actually uh, the uh, this is actually the uh, settings uh, that you need. Uh, let me just uh, make this a little bit smaller so you can see all the uh, so you can see uh, what I'm actually seeing. So it should be like that. Yes. And then uh, so this is so in my case over here, if I want to be if I want to make it like uh, the demo that I'm showing, it should be better project page and then link. And then if I go over here, uh, this is actually uh, this is I have to change also this parameter over here and uh, this is uh, yeah so this is the social tag so this is we'll, we'll reach to that so this is uh, where you get it from you get it from settings app details and then deep linking and the routing this is where you take this link and then it's very important when you structure this link this is the base of the link as I said this question mark is needed because if you want to add parameters this is how you add it with a question mark so if we go back to the manually constructing the uh, dynamic link and this is a simple demo which I actually uh, structure it like that so you can see it better uh, and the first thing we have the deep link parameter uh, which is the uh, which is the link itself so how do you how do you get how do you get this link so the first part is the same part as you can see over here on the top and this part over here uh, you can actually take it if you go to any page so for example let's say that I want to go this link I want uh, this link to go to action so when it's pressed I want to open the action so there is uh, this new uh, parameter over here that is called on the right which is called route settings so if I uh, copy this and this would be route settings. So what about if I want a parameter? So let's say this uh, actions, uh, it's dynamically changed. I can actually add a parameter and this parameter, for example, can be ID and then the ID will be, let's say an integer and let's uh, click uh, continue. So right now, in order to, uh, in order to actually, uh, in order to actually show the, in order to actually go to this uh, specific page, you need uh, the name of the parameter, which would be ID, and then the actual, uh, the actual ID, which is uh, coming in this case from the uh, page parameter. So it will be ID and, for example, 33 or whatever your ID is, uh, and this will uh, this will come from the uh, from the parameter as well. So. I will show you, I will actually show you, I can actually show you this inside my uh, buttons. So for example, let's say uh, I want to share the same link, uh, the same page, sorry, that I'm uh, uh, seeing right here. So I'll just uh, add an ID and this ID will be, let's say it's an integer, it doesn't matter what type it is. Uh, and then this link will be uh, like that. Uh, so this is how you get the link. So the link is from here, links. And then the Android parameters. In my case, I'm using only one parameter, uh, which is the first one. So this is the package name. The package name, uh, of course, you can get it from over here. This should be the package name. Uh, and I can just simply uh, copy and paste it over here. So this will be the package name. And then uh, if I go back, uh, this is the only parameter I'm using. But uh, keep in mind, you can use all the parameters uh, is as simple as that. So for example, if you want, if I, if I want to use this IFL, just click enter. And then uh, I can say IF, IFL equals to and whatever I want to. And it's very important to have the n% in the end. Without the n% of the end, 
the whole link will not work. So you need the ampersand and the end. So in the first line you need the uh, question mark, but on the second one you need the ampersand. So ampersand, 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 ampersand. And in the last one you don't need the ampersand. Don't put the ampersand at the last one because again the link will break. So after that uh, we have the iOS parameters, which is in this case I'm using this EB only. But as I said, you can use any of those is the same logic. For example, if I want to use EC, so I write EC and then uh, the bundle ID of the iOS app uh, and I just uh, use it, for example, this would be the same bundle ID and I would just say like that, right? So right now I'm using the EC. And then um, uh, the last thing that I'm using is the social meta uh, tag parameters. I'm using the ST, which is the title uh, to use when dynamic link is shared. And I'm using also SI, which is the URL of the image related to the link. So that's important if you want to, if, if you want, when you share an image, you want uh, actually the image, uh, the image to appear when you share the link. And uh, SD is this actually the description. So I can actually add, so I can say this is, so I can say like demo app and here I can say, uh, so this would be demo.com and this would be, let's say link uh, 33, for example. Uh, this is the, the image that is, uh, that I'm getting from, uh, that I'm getting it. So SD, I can say, uh, this is a description and percent and uh, and that's it now i added the description and let me show you how to how you can actually uh how you can actually um uh, do this so when you click a button first of all you need to construct this uh or so you can have you can go to the local uh, local state you you can have a dynamic link uh, which is a type of uh, string and then we need when when this button is clicked uh you can go to update local state dynamic link set variable and we need to set variable from uh from uh combined text so when i click on combined text uh so now it's only copy and pasting things so i can copy and paste the first line put it over here then add a, add a new text copy and paste the second line add it over here copy and paste the third line. So the second line, if you have a parameter over here, like me, uh, in my example, it's good to actually delete this and put it dynamically because in the end of the day, we want this parameter uh, to be dynamic. So we can actually do this. We can go over here and we can say, take the ID, no further changes, and I'm getting the ID right now. So the only part left of this string is the end percent. So let's put, and percent over here and then we can continue so then uh, we want the android parameters which would be those one and then we can use the ios parameters which would be those one which would be this one and then we want the social metadata which is this one will add the title when we share the link this one will add the description when we share the link and the last one will actually add the image of uh, uh, also here uh, there's, you can see this is the ID. I can also uh, make it like this. So I can make add, uh, add another one, delete it from here, add another one, add it from the ID. And the last part will be dot, uh, dot G, uh, GP, dot PNG, not PNG, G, JPEG. Sorry. And that's it. That's your link. It's now uh, stored and, uh, local storage uh, and then you can add a new action and the new action will be share so i'll add a new action which will be share coming from variable the variable will be local uh, local storage and the link will be this one which we just uh, constructed dynamically so i hope uh, that um, helped and i hope now you can actually uh, construct your own uh, dynamic uh, dynamic links.
Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.